welcome back to my channel um, today's video is going to be the palette tag as you can tell from the title um, I only have about seven eyeshadow palettes a lot of my eyeshadows are individual or stick eyeshadows but um, I do have a couple here and I wanted to kind of do this tag after I saw it on Kathleen Light's channel. I absolutely love her. I love her channel. I love all her videos. I love all my hair makeup looks. And when I saw her do this video, I was like, I want to do it. So here it is. And if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. The first question is, which palette has the best packaging? And that's definitely got to go to my brand new 26 color palette from BH Cosmetics. And I don't know, the package is just so sleek and it's beautiful and it's pretty sturdy. It's kind of plasticky, but that's never bothered me. Then when you open it up, it's just absolutely beautiful. I love how everything is laid out. I love the sizes of the products and I just, I don't know, this is just like beautiful to look at. Like I've had it for about two days now and I have not touched it because it's just so beautiful and I don't want to mess it up. The next question is, which palette has the best color payoff? And that would have to be my e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow. Um, this one is also relatively new, but I have used it already. And I can tell you that these are absolutely amazing. Like the color payoff is amazing. They're so pigmented, they're so buttery. They're still kind of powdery because they are eyeshadows, but I mean the quality is just amazing for $10. And some of the shades are really similar to each other, but I mean, they're all gorgeous shades, so it doesn't really bother me all that much. I mean, the color payoff is just amazing on these. I absolutely love this palette. The next question is, which palette is the most versatile? And that would be my GOV 88 Shadow Color Palette. And it just looks like this. And as you can see, it has a whole range of shades in there. And uh, a lot of them are shimmer, which I didn't like at first, but um, as I got to use them more and more, and I started using them with um, a wet eyeshadow brush and uh, you know, kind of like packing the color onto the lid, I really, really grew to love this palette. And um, with all the different shades, I mean, you have like your, your nudes, your browns, your dark um, smoky eye colors, You've got your pinks, blues, greens. You got basically every color in here. And it's so versatile. I can create pretty much any look with this palette. And um, I normally don't use this palette by itself, but in almost every makeup look, if I'm doing like some sort of shimmery eye, I'm probably laying one of these colors over it. The next question is which palette is best for traveling? And that would be my L'Oreal Color Riche eyeshadow palette and so over it. And it just looks like this. It's a little, oh, I broke it. <laughs> it's a little quad where you have a gold um, lid shade, you have like a highlight shade, you have a brown crease color, and then a dark black defining shade. And they're all shimmer shades, and they're all beautiful. This creates a gorgeous, gorgeous smoky eye, and I absolutely loved it. From the first day I actually got this um, palette, like I just, I don't know, I loved it. I love using any kind of gold eye look I use. I'm definitely layering this um, gold over it because it is so pigmented, it is so metallic, it's beautiful, I love it. And um, I almost always use this highlight color for my inner corners on any eye look. I don't care what eye look it is, I'm most likely using this inner corner highlight because it's just that beautiful. So I definitely use this when traveling because it's so small and compact. And it basically does everything I need an eyeshadow palette to do on the go. The next question is which palette is your biggest regret? And I have to say the Eyes, Lips, Face palette, which is their, I believe it's a 100 color palette. And I don't regret this so much, but out of all the palettes I have, this is the one I regret the most because the color is not that great. The pigmentation is not that strong. Um, you definitely have to use these wet if you really want a strong pigmentation. They're kind of chalky. I mean, it's just not the best quality, but you do get a huge range of colors. And it's a beautiful looking palette, and I do use it. I do get a lot of use out of this. I definitely use some of these dark brown shades for my eyebrows sometimes. So I do like it, but it's definitely not the best palette I've ever gotten. 
the next question is which palette has the best color names and unfortunately none of my palettes have color names so I can't exactly answer that with the palettes that I have so we're gonna go to the next question which is which is your least used palette and that's definitely got to be my wet and wild color palette and petal pusher and it is a beautiful palette with lots of purples you have a bunch of dark purples, shimmery purples, plum colors, and I, when I first got this, I used it all the time, but of course you can only wear purple eyes so many times. I mean, like every day I was wearing a purple eyeshadow look, so I kind of calmed down on using this when I started branching out into other colors, but when I do go back to a purple eyeshadow look, I do go in with this one, and it's definitely reliable, and I love it even though it is my least used palette. The last question is which is your most loved palette or most used palette and ever since I got this I have, there's hardly been an eyeshadow look where I have not used this. I'm pretty sure like there's hardly ever been one. Um, it would be the Eyes Lips, uh, the Elf, well, I don't know why I keep trying to say it. Eyes Lips face, the Elf. The e.l.f. palette in natural, I believe it says, it says it on a little sticker on the back. The e.l.f. palette in natural, as you can see it just has a bunch of natural shades. They are shimmery, but it's not too shimmery. And as you can see I've hit pan on this color here because I use it for my brows and I also use this uh, as a crease color on most of my eye looks, especially when I'm not trying to do too intense an eye look or a smoky eye, I definitely go for this one or this color here above it. I use this with a lot of gold eyeshadow looks that I go for. Um, I don't use this brown too much, but it is a really pretty brown color, or I would say a bronzy color, a bronzy brown color. And then I'll use either of these for highlighting my brow bone or highlighting my cheeks, as you can see as I did today. But yeah, so this is definitely my most used. It's just so useful. This is another one that's good for traveling, but it's not as small as that one, of course, so that one was definitely better for traveling. But I do love this one, and it is probably, yeah, my most loved, even though it's one of the cheapest, and it doesn't have the most colors in it, but it's definitely one of my most used and most loved. So, if you can never find this, go out and get it, because you will love it as much as I do. And if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I love it. And that pretty much wraps up my palette tag. Um, I enjoy showing you all of the palettes that I currently have. I look forward to getting more palettes and sharing those with you. I look forward to creating more eyeshadow looks for you guys. Definitely leave a comment down below if you want me to do more makeup tutorials with eyeshadow looks for you guys. Um, be sure to share this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.